Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. Well, Chris McGee, managing partner, Endeavor Private Wealth, is joining us for our segment on investing. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us again. Thank you. So let's continue our discussion on um, climate change and the ramifications it may pose on investors, uh, focusing on financial decision making at the individual level. Yeah. Climate investing falls within a branch of investing referred to as environmental, social, and governance, or ESG investing. The objective is to invest in enterprises that seek to accomplish positive environmental changes while also making a profit. People can invest in individual companies that focus on alternative energy, such as solar panels or wind turbines to produce electricity, or they can invest in managed or passive investment funds comprised of numerous green stocks, a term used to refer to environmentally friendly companies with low carbon emissions, opposed to stocks of brown companies that emit large, large quantities of greenhouse gases that may be harmful to the environment. Mm -hmm. And so return-wise, which approach um, is better? I have to answer that with an emphatic, it depends. <laughs> Any single investment could be good and could do very well or not. A diversified approach spreads the investment risk around multiple companies. However, there is no guarantee that investors may not lose money. And some investors may not have a specific ESG agenda that guides their investment choices, seeking instead to focus on generating a desired return in line with acceptable levels of risk. These investors might be comfortable in owning brown stocks like big oil companies that may perform well when oil prices rise as a result of shortages, supply chain disruptions, or increased demand. Of course, the tide can also turn on these companies as legislation, regulation, and social pressures limit, restrict, or change the norms of business as usual. Mm -hmm. And Chris, you've also alluded to how climate change may impose risks on individuals and businesses separate and distinct from their investment portfolios. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, property owners might be experiencing higher insurance costs due to climate change. For example, in California, two major insurance companies have stopped accepting new applications for property and casualty insurance because of soaring reconstruction costs associated with damages from wildfires. Homeowners insurance is also skyrocketing in places like Florida due to increased risk and severity of damages caused by hurricanes. And another major insurer just announced that it was pulling out of the state. Wow. People having to pay higher premiums or seeking insurance through state-sponsored plans, which could provide limited coverage, or self-insure, which could be extremely risky and potentially financially devastating. And what about our region specifically? What should we expect and how can we best be um, prepared to meet the challenges of climate change? Yeah, so every four years, a team of more than 300 experts guided by 60 members of the Federal Advisory Committee produced the National Climate Assessment, which is extensively reviewed by the public, academic experts, and government and federal agencies, and the National Academy of Science. In 2022, the assessment notes that our Great Plains region, rising temperatures are leading to increased demand for water and energy, which will constrain development, stress natural resources, and increase competition for water. The new agricultural and, li and livestock management practices will be required due to changes in crop growth, cycle, and time and magnitude of rainfall. More frequent extreme weather events are likely to occur in an already variable climate system and the magnitude of change will likely exceed those experienced in the past, necessitating planning and adaptation to deal with the projected impacts. Wow. Well, Chris, we're just about out of time for this segment. Um, any final thoughts? 
I believe individual investors, property owners, and business owners would be well served by discussing their specific needs and objectives related to the challenges presented by climate change with their trusted financial advisor, insurance specialist, and legal and tax advisor. Well, Chris, as always, thank you for your insights, and we always appreciate your time. And, of course, to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, visit EndeavorPW.com.